Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now we are going to talk about 10 most important thing you must do before any of your interview and we are going to be heavily focused towards interviews related to tech jobs but these concepts would typically apply to most of the other jobs as well. So without any further ado, let's get started with the number one item on the list that is make sure you understand the job description completely and by going through the job description it will allow you to understand that what are the key skills needed to perform that job on top of it you need to understand that what are your skill sets and where is the match and where is that learning thing that you have to do next thing is make sure to brush up on the fundamentals do not ignore the most basic principles i cannot tell you how many times it happened with me where i went for an interview i was well prepared i thought i knew most of the stuff and i got stuck at some basic problem and that ended up costing me the entire interview and probably like couple of weeks of preparation i went through next thing and now this applies specifically for technical interviews is to be in the habit of coding by hand so what do i mean by that many times as a programmer you must be used to something like eclipse or intellij or any other ide that you are using in order to run your code but in an actual interview scenario it is rarely going to happen that they are going to give you the entire uh, ide in most of the cases either you are going to be typing the code on a piece of paper or some whiteboard if not if it's a virtual interview most likely it is going to be a google google doc kind of a thing uh, and that brings up to my next point that is always start preparing for mock interviews you don't understand how important mock interviews are until you actually appear in a real interview after doing bunch of mock interviews because your confidence level would be pretty high on top of it one of the major benefits of mock interviews are that many times you are acting as an interviewer to your friend which means when your friend is answering the, uh, the questions you can actually think that as an interviewer how did you feel about that answer and knowing this knowledge and having this perspective of seeing an interview from an interviewer's eyes uh, would be a game changer so make sure that build a group find some people and start doing mock interviews before appearing in the actual interviews along with that comes our next topic that is time management well in a typical interview you only have 45 to 50 minutes to convince the interviewer that you are the right candidate and you have the skills needed to perform that job now by any means this is not the sufficient time to judge a person's capability and if you are able to utilize the time in your favor this can work significantly better and you can actually be considered one as one of the top candidates compared to a lot of other people and the time management includes number one introducing yourself and explaining or conveying your skill sets number two covering most of the questions that interviewer had in their mind and start asking bunch of different questions on top of it have some room at the end so you also have some questions that you need to ask and you can uh, discuss on those as well and with that comes the next topic that is time complexity and space complexity because for any tech job whenever you are applying for a coding interview or data structure or algorithm related problems you are dealing with variety of solutions that are available to you and you have to pick which is going to be the most optimal way to solve this problem and you can only decide that if you know that what are the parameters a solution is being judged on and two main ones are time complexity and space complexity so have a good understanding of big o notation next thing is do not ignore the behavioral question or the soft skill part of any job because even if the job is highly technical they would still want a person who is really good person to work with next thing is make sure that you are up on your technical reading current events and what is going on currently in the industry or your related field let's say you work in tech industry so see what's new happening with microsoft or google or aws products uh, understand that what is new happening with the ai what could be the future potential uh, potential looks like what could be the emerging technologies and that brings to my last point that i wanted to suggest to all of you and that is make sure to rest well before an actual interview don't be in a position where you are already physically stressed and not in a good place because interview in itself tend to be a time intensive pressurized environment and it doesn't look good if you are well rested you look fresh you look energetic you have that smile on your face and that brightens up the room and make sure that you are well dressed well prepared before appearing for an interview so these would be my tips uh, let me know in the comments if you think i missed any